my parents. I wanted to introduce a quick game that you guys can do for today's learning or at any time. Normally we play this in the classroom with three different colored hula hoops, but I'm going to assume that you probably don't have three hula hoops at home. Um, so I thought what would be a fun idea is you could do this outside with chalk, um, or you could do it in your house. They don't even have to be circles. They can, you could use tape. You could, you know, use anything as long as there's like three uh, separate spots for you to uh, use. So essentially what this game is for it is to practice our segmenting. So what that means is segmenting means you take a word and you break it up into its smallest sounds. So for example, in the word cat, it has three sounds. K, A, T. So what we would do in the classroom is I would give them a CVC word, which is just another word. It stands for consonant, vowel, consonant. And those are really easy words because they all have three sounds. And what we would do is we would line up as a class and then I would give a student a word and then they would jump in the hula hoop and they would jump in the green hula hoop to say the first sound. They would jump in the hula hoop to say the second sound and then they would jump in this one and say the third sound. So they're physically moving their bodies to practice segmenting the word. So I'll give you an example. I'm going to use my mouse here as the person. So if I said the word log, you would go l, a, g. Sometimes kids might um, do the first sound l, and then do og. They might do the middle and third sound in the middle one. So you want to just emphasize the three different sounds l, a, g. If they did og here, you could say, hmm, og doesn't sound like a letter in the alphabet. That sounds like two letters that came together, which means that it's two separate sounds. So um, I'm going to give you a couple of variations that you can use to play this game. So the first one is just you can take these two away completely and you can just practice the first sound in a word. So you can give your child any word. Maybe start off with a word that's similar to their name that starts with the same sound as their name. And you could say, okay, I want you to say the first sound in the word that I give you. What's the first sound in the word tiger? And then they would jump in and they would say t. And you would practice a bunch of words that way. The next step up is doing all of the sounds in a word. So, mmm, ah, t, mat. If that's too easy, then you can have them match the sounds with letters in the alphabet. The next thing you could do is have them do the same thing with the word mat. Mmm, ah, t. And then you can say, what is the middle sound in the word mat? And they would have to say, ah. Or you could say, what is the last sound in the word mat? And they would have to say, t. So this is getting them to practice the beginning sound of a word, the middle sound of a word, and the ending sound. The middle sound is usually the hardest. Um, so they might need a little extra help with that. If that's too easy for them, you can do something called a switcheroo. So you would give them a word like cat, k at, and then you could say, can you change the a ah sound to an ah and tell me what word that you have? And then they would go k ah t. So you can switch the beginning sound, the middle sound, or the ending sound. Um, let me give you another example. Do the word web for me. W, e, b. Good. In the word web, can you change the b to a t and tell me what you get? And then they should say, w, e, t. 
So you don't have to do the whole physical part of this. This is just something you could practice just talking to them. Um, sometimes I like to use like little, uh, like little trinkets or toys or something, and then they can put down one for each sound in the word. This just makes it a little bit more fun because you're adding a physical component to it. So I'm gonna make a list of words that you can do, and then this is a fun game you can play outside or inside whenever you have the chance.